Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing well. So today I am showing you this awesome new crafty kit that I found at the dollar store of all things. I actually didn't know that they did craft kits. I had heard that they are starting to do yarn, but I found a craft kit. So we're going to open this bad boy up and see what we got. See if it's worth anything. Sorry for the noise. So let's see what we have. Sneaky peek. Ooh, there's a purple marker. That makes me happy. Okay, everything's in a big old bag. Let's see, we have some instructions here, or destructions as I love to call them. So let's look at this first. So it comes with a stitch marker, a crochet hook, a needle and stuffing. Okay, so there's all of the instructions. We're going to be working in the round, how to read this pattern. Round four, repeat the pattern for six times this pattern. Okay, so it's, I think it's going to be fairly straightforward if you are familiar with amigurumi and working it in the round. Let's see what's on the back. Okay, for the leaves, awesome. Shows you how to make the cute little, I almost called it a cactus. What do you call these things? Succulents, that's what they're called. Oh, that's a cute little hook. Do I have to have my own scissors to open this? Scissors. Don't cut anything though, so let me just do one on the side. Sorry for the crinkles. Get my cute little three millimeters. Oosh, that's small. That's the first time I've ever used that. Usually when I do my amigurumi, I do use a 375, 3.75, sorry. I don't know why I call it that, but I do. Crinkles, crinkles, sorry, sorry, sorry. Stick that over there. So we got a neonish green, a lighter brown, and a darker brown. And then our, <laughs> the needle is a plastic needle. That's cool. That's fine. And then a purple stitchy marker. Yay. Okay. So, the instructions to make your own decoration and how to read the pattern. Okay, so um, we're going to start with the pot first, it looks like, because part one is telling you the materials, part two is telling you the abbreviations, part three is the instructions on how to use, and then part one is the beginning of the pattern. Weird, but okay. So we need to do six... Oh, okay, so we want to do six single crochets into a magic ring and then increase until we get up to... 30 stitches, and then we're going to be working in the back loops. Okay, so let's go ahead. We want our dark brown because I just want to make sure no, I think I want to use the dark brown for the soil, I would think. So let's use the lighter brown for the pot. I believe that's what they're wanting. Oh yeah, see, look at the picture here. The soil is kind of a darker brown. So let's do that yet. Okay. Let's see if I can get that open without ruining the whole thing. Come here, my lovely end. Friend of the end. Okay. So of course you know I like to work in a magic ring, it's always the best. If you need a tutorial on how to use a magic ring, I do have one on my channel for you. Oh, using a smaller hook is gonna, might be tough. Alright, so he, they wanted six single crochets in this magic ring. I'm going to try to get that out of there. 
ta-ta, come out. Fingers are not working this morning. Okay. Give myself a single crochet to begin. Or, I said single crochet and I meant chain. Haha. <laughs> It's early in the morning when I'm filming this, and I don't know what I am saying. I am sorry. All right, there is one. There is two. Right away, I can tell you that I'm not loving this hook at all. It's just too thin for me to hold on to. So, it might be a possibility of me switching to my clovers. I'm pretty sure I do have a three millimeter hook. How many have I done? One, two, three. Four. Five and six. Yeah, this hook is tough. Okay. Just to be double sure. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Close off that magic ring. And then into this first loop or stitch. I might have made it too tight already. Get in there. In, in, okay. Man, that one is a tight. Oh, I might not be able to get it through there. I think I made it too tight in the beginning because I am not loving this hook at all. So give me one moment. I am going to grab my clover hook. That's the three millimeter and see if that will help me out. One moment. Well, shoot. I don't think I have a three millimeter. I don't know if clover even comes with a three millimeter itself. So the closest I'm able to find is a 325. With my own amigurumi, I use a 3.75. Oh no, I lied. That's a 4. This is the one I like to use. <laughs> so, so I'm <coughs> lying all over the place. Pause for coughing fit. Okay, so I think we are going to go ahead and use this <clears throat> 3.25 instead. Let's see if that might help me a little bit. So let's grab our down again, pull that back out, and then of course I always make a knot every time I do that. So we'll cut that off, and then let's start our ring again. Chainy one, and then kind of get this tail back out of there. All right. Six single crochets. Let's try that again. Four, five, and six. All right, so I'm not going to tighten it down quite so much until I get my hook into this first single crochet over here. There we go. Just like that, and then we can tighten it back down. Perfection. Nope, I'm, I'm trying to do doubles here. Okay, single crochet back into that to make it an increase. And then this is where you would want to put in a stitch marker so that you can mark your rounds. So this was your first one right here. This yarn is quite hard to see the stitches. It's very shiny. Shiny, shiny. There we go. And fuzzy. I mean, not any, not any more fuzzy, I suppose, than worsted weight is, I guess, but 
maybe I'm just having a really hard time seeing these stitches. Okay, so there is that second one. We're putting an increase into this one. And increase into each stitch. One and two. One and two. And one more. One and two. So if we started with six and we increased into each one, we should have 12. So let's go ahead and count real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh oh. So you know what? because art is art and that's how it works. So I'm gonna just put my increase into this next stitch and that will even it out for us. Oh, for heaven's sakes. One and a two. Perfect. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Woohoo! All right. And I believe what they wanted us to do was just increase. So to do an increase in the round, you do a single crochet and then an increase. <clears throat> and then the next round you do two single crochets and an increase. Next round is three single crochets and an increase. And so on until you make your piece as big as you want. So I'm going to go ahead and get it up to the 30 stitches that they want here and then we will continue on there. I will see you in just a moment. All right, I am back. I've gotten that first part of the recipe done. So far what I am deciding is that I do actually like the smaller hook. Now that I've gotten a little bit more used to amigurumi itself, maybe I do need to move down what is sad about that, though, is that every hook size that I like to use, I don't love the color of the hook, <laughs> which is totally, it's not a problem at all. But I just wanted to observe that. This is an orange hook. I don't like orange. I like to use a six when I'm doing worsted weight, and I don't like brown. <laughs> so just a little funny fact there. But what I am going to go ahead and do is... I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of this off camera because I do not want to get in trouble for showing you the whole entire recipe. And then I will tell you my final thoughts once I've gotten it all finished. Maybe I'll do some B-roll here to show you what it's like, but I'm not going to show you the pattern anymore. All right. Triumph. <laughs> Got it in a ball. Woo -woo -woo. Now we shall continue. Okay, we are finished with the pot portion. We're going to move on to the soil, which is the dark brown. So I've got to get that knot out of there. Gracious, I should have done that off camera. We'll just... Triumph once again. Okay, so let's read the destructions. I'm going to read them somewhat off camera so that I can just look here. So we use the dark brown using in... Oh, so we're going to make it completely separate and sew it in. Okay. So in another magic ring. Maybe I shouldn't do it because look, look how much left I had. I mean, they really cut it down to the wire with that one. So let me try not to make the tail so large on this one this time. Just in, I mean, well, it's probably way more than enough, but I want to be sure. Okay, so they want six here as well. There is one, two, three, four, 
five and six. Before I tighten that all the way down, I want to get my hook in there. Okay, now we can tighten down the rest of the circle. Come here. This short one is what I need. Oh, not the long one. <gasps> Come back. See, I knew I was going to do that. I had a feeling. Stay. Pull it. All right, so we're doing just a regular increase again. So we'll do two single crochets into every single stitch. Once again. Struggling. <laughs> I left a big old loop there, but eh, oh well. Okay. And I totally did not put my stitch marker in, so let's make sure here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Woohoo! Twelve. All right. So we're going to bring this bad boy up to 30 stitches, just like this one is, and then I believe we're going to sew it in. So let's get that finished. One moment, please. All right, there we go with our soil. I grabbed another stitch marker so that I could remember to look. And so we've done our soil portion. Let's flippy flippy. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute here. It did not tell me. And then it goes on to the leaves. So soil and the pot. Oh, it does. It literally says it right there. <laughs> So soil to the pot and stuff with fiber fill. And then we move on to the leaves. So basically I can just um, secure these off. So I'm going to do a little slippy stitchy here. Chain one. Grab my scissors. Pull that out. So that's going to be the soil. Let's go ahead and do it to this one. I do want to point out with this stitch marker, I've only used it just for this uh, kit. And look, it's already starting to do the, you know, like where the bend, where it gets a little weak looking. Does that read on camera? I don't know. Where it kind of gets light, like it's been bent too much. And I've only used it for this one project. So that's a thing. Come back here. So let's do a slip stitch in this one. And let's do that again because I split my yarn. Chain one and then pull that up. I think I'm going to leave this gray or this, that's not gray. Whoa, <laughs> that's a brown so that I can sew it in like that. I think that's what I'll go ahead and do. Shall we try to use their needle and see how that works out? Okay. So I figure I just go from these ends to these ends. Let's see. Oh, I've, I can move that out of the way. So let's just match these together okay. 
here and possibly here. I absolutely would have done it a different way. I would have, you know, crocheted it in. But that's why we do reviews. All right, all right. The needle seems fine. I'm not actually sure if I'm gonna have still enough brown. I sh my maybe coulda shoulda woulda you to would have used the dark brown. I don't know. All right, so I'm going to finish the rest of this off camera. If I run out of yarn, I will let you know and we'll decide what to do from there. All right, so I've gotten it almost all the way done. This is where we need to add our fiber film. So I'm gonna grab that out of the bag. It is definitely not the regular, you know, polyfill that I like to use, but that's what we got in the kit. I might, here, I'm just gonna pull the whole thing out. Very wiry fiber fill. Stuffy, stuffy. Make sure to get in all the cooks and nannies. <laughs> Let's see, does that feel like enough once I close it? Mm -hmm. I might do just a smooch more. So they do give you enough stuffing at least does depend on how firm you want it for yourself. Mm, yeah, I think that's good. All right, so let's sew up the rest of this. I think I might perhaps have enough brown and that's just perfect. Totally playing yarn chicken with the sewing or with the uh, crochet kit. That is for true. Let's actually stuff. Mm, I might have should have stuffed that in there before. Do, 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 do. Stuffy stuff stuff stuffy. Okay. Almost done. I'm just doing a regular whip stitch situation here. Stuff the rest of that in there. Can I? I might need to use my scissors to kind of stuff that in. Oh, no, that's not going to work. Little pinky? Perhaps? There we go. I think I got it that time. Ta-ta. Pull that back out. There we go. Let's do one more. I mean, it's not going to be 100% perfect, and that's okay, because art is art is art, and it's beautiful and fun. I'm going to give it a little squish. Oh, that's wonky looking. <laughs> well, you know what? That's cool. It's cool. It's cool. No worries about it. All right, so let's do a little finish off here. And then I am going to see if I can poke that all the way in. Oops, nope, that's not going to do. See all that fiber fill that's coming out, though, from the... I'm not loving that. But that'll do. That'll do. There. I really want to kind of like... All the fiber fills that are kind of squunching out... Get those. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the leaves. Okay, on to the green leaves portion. It says that we need four single crochets on a hook. 
and four. Okay, and then one chain and four increases, so I'm supposed to have eight stitches. Hold on a minute, let me understand better. Working into, oh, I am supposed to have a magic ring. I lied. Okay, magic ring. Woo. Okay, now that I have a magic ring, now we want four single crochets into the magic ring. That's what they're asking for. Chain one. And then there's one, two, three, and here's four. Okay. One chain. Oh, I'm supposed to, I get it. Okay, so I've got two pull this together so I'm gonna chain it I suppose and then in the first stitch is where I put four increases I suppose is what that's meaning there okay one oh I understand better <laughs> I need I need to go to bed apparently. We want to go around in the circle of four increases to make eight. How dare they confuse me. I don't know, for some reason I was thinking the leaves, you know, long leaves, they're supposed to be in a, in a chain, not a circle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, now we're doing, why is it asking for a chain though? Is that supposed to be a bump? And then a single crochet. Come here. And then an increase. One and two. Okay, I need to do that four times. I have no idea why I'm having to do a chain. Maybe it's just the way the, you know, different people do chains in between. They're probably actually not working in the round like I'm doing. I'm betting that's why. Okay. I get it, I get it. I have no idea how many that was, but I need 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Wait, hold on. 1, 2, 3, 4. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, perfection. Two single crochets and an increase. So yeah, what they're doing is they're not working in the round like I'm doing. So actually, I need to get my stitch marker back over here. That was one. Two. And then an increase. One, two, and an increase without splitting the yarn, please. <laughs> okay. Oh, heavens. One. Come here. Two. 
and an increase. This yarn is super bright. It's it's definitely green. <laughs> One, two, and increase. Uh, kind of messed up somewhere, but that is okay. We'll just stick our increase in here. Do you see that hair hanging out? <laughs> Oops. put this last stitch in pull that up and let's get that hair out of the way okay so now for two rows we just want to go single crochet all the way around Okay. Alright, so let me go ahead and get two rows of single crochet done and I'll show you what it looks like when I get that bar finished. Okay, done with those two rows. And now they're asking us to do another increase. So we do two single crochets and an increase. And then another increase after that. So I've realized that this is the large leaf and then there's a medium and a small leaf. So you get to decide what size of leaves and what kind, or not necessarily the kind because they're all the same, but basically the kind of sizes of leaves that you want. So that's good. Oh, if I keep on. I like this yarn. I totally do, but I'm not used to it. It's very um, soft feeling, that's for sure. So that's nice. One and two. And an increase. Okay, so I am going to go ahead actually and I'm going to do the two increases that it tells me to do and then it act and then from there it tells me to go ahead and do a decrease. So basically this is just going to be a tube. So, oh and I to completely just did, where's my increase at? Right, that was my increase, that's one, two, and then an increase. <laughs> See, that's what happens when you just start talk, talk, talking. Okay, so once I get this large leaf finished, I will go ahead and show you guys what I've got. All right, so I have made a small, medium, and a large leaf here. And because this pot is so small, I'm kind of thinking that it's going to look just really cute with just the three little cutenesses on here and it just says sew it together it doesn't give any specifics as to how to sew it together so I'm going to just make it how I think it would look cute so first of all I'm going to start with the big leaf actually let's cut off that chunk there and so actually let's hide this weirdness over here with this one and so I will just pick up a few little pieces here and back through this way. Oh, this needle is bendy, so it's actually not going to work for me to pick up more. So let me grab an actual metal needle. Here we go. Because it's definitely not going to let me do what I want to do. Okay, all right. So let's go through here and then scoop some up 
and back through here again, just like that. And I got quite a bit of yarn left. I wasn't exactly sure how much I would need, so actually let's do that. And then we'll go back through again. I'm not a sewer, I'm a crocheter, so don't at me. <laughs> so we're just gonna do it like this and see how it works. Like so. That looks good. And then, actually I may have made that one a little bit too far out, but I wanted to hide that one. This one I will sew in another piece. So, oops, I need to cut my tails off. Tail, bye-bye. And then let's just thread this one through. Nope, I want the medium one, just kidding. Cut that tail off, bye-bye. And then, actually, so maybe I should just, there we go, that might look good. Just like so, and just grab a couple few. Like this, put that back over. Get that back over. Like this. Yes, that's cute. Let's pick up just a couple of more to make sure that it's a little more secure. <gasps> yes, I think that's going to be cute. And then the other one will go right there. Pick it. And then, oh, see? All right, I'm going to have to make more leaves because I did it too far on the outside. That's kind of what I wanted, something like this. Yeah, definitely need more leaves. Wasn't thinking on the straight edge there. Hmm. Good thing this isn't my pattern, I'd be butchering it. Mm, I kind of did those. Hmm. Hmm. Am I able to move that? No, I'm not. Okay, let's put this one here. Let's just tack it down the rest of the way. Still too, see I did, I messed up there. Uh, do I even want to pull it out all, well no, because we I'm going to put another one in here. So let's leave that for now. I'll make a couple of more leaves. I didn't realize I made that one too far out. That's my problem. Hold on a moment, I shall think of something that I want to do. Okay, nope, I just took it apart and we're just gonna do it again because I really want just three leaves because I think it'll be cuter that way. So I am gonna start with the bigger leaf. I'm gonna move it farther in, but I'm still gonna have it cover this side and we'll just look at it from this way instead. So I'm gonna sew on this one. Ouch, I just poked myself. Did you guys see that? That was awesome. So yeah, I want this one here, and then this one's going to go here-ish, and then this one will go here-ish. That's my thoughts. I think that would be super, super cute. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. I won't give you the pain of having to watch me sew this again, so I'll show you when I'm finished. Okay, here it is, my finished project. I could have put more leaves on it, but I did not. And it is a little bit messy inside, but 
Oh, well. <laughs> and it definitely is not pot-shaped like I wanted it to be. But, yeah, that's why I design my own things, because it makes more sense in my own brain than having to understand what's going on with the patterns that are written. It's still really nice yarn. I do like the yarn a lot. I'm trying to get rid of a piece of hair there, if you can't tell what in the world I'm doing. But yeah, overall, it is an okay project for being dollar store. Is it something that a complete newbie could do? Maybe not. They would have to know exactly what, you know, magic ring means and for single crochet increase. So, you know, maybe for those that just want to have a little bit of something, but otherwise it's pretty great. So you guys, let me know what you think. And yeah, so this was a very fun little project just for giggles. <laughs> giggles. All right. So please move through life with kindness and compassion because that is the magic that we need in this world. I love you all so much. See y'all later. Bye.